Hi friends, this is industry based question and answers for a SOC Analyze Tale 2 responsibility most frequently asked in many companies. So, the first question would be the sure sure question in each and every company that is introduce your, about yourself. So, let me say I am Ranjit, I hold bachelor degree so in computer science from Bangalore University, I have 7 plus years of experience in the cyber security and IT as well. Primarily focused on security operations center SOC roles. In my previous roles as a SOC analyst, my responsibility includes monitoring and analyzing alerts, in conducting incident investigation, coordinating incident response efforts and collaborating with various teams to mitigate the security effect threats effectively. So next question would be how do you start your shift and how do you end up your shift? At the start of my shift, I ensure a smooth transition by performing the following task. <coughs> Reviewing the ongoing incident from the previous shift, checking for an system alerts or notification, ensuring all monitoring tools and sim systems are up and running, collaborating with outgoing shift analyst for knowledge transfer session to understand any ongoing investigation or issues. Throughout my shift, I perform the following task. So continuous monitoring, uh, security alerts and logs, analyzing and triage incoming alerts for severity, investigation, suspicious activities or incidents thoroughly, collaborate to, uh, with the other team members for the incident response efforts, document all actions and findings in the incident reports, keep stakeholders informed of the incident progress, implement and enforce security policies and procedures, conduct a periodic security assessment and vulnerability scan, assist in the develop development and tuning of SIM rules and alerts. How do you respond to an incident and if, in, if any incident occurs? When an incident occurs, my response typically follows this step. Alert triage. I start by assessing the severity of the alert to determine if it is genuine incident or a false positive. Identi incident identification. If the alert is valid, I identify the type of the incident and its scope. Next would be the containment. So I take immediate step to contain the incident to prevent further damages. Investigation. I conduct thorough investigation to understand the root cause and uh, the extent of the breach. Mitigation. I work with the incident response team to develop and implement mitigation strategies. Communication. I keep uh, stakeholders informed including the management, IT teams and affected users as well. Documentation. I document every action during the incident response process for future reference and reporting. Remediation. After resolving the incident, I work on strengthening security measures to prevent similar incidents in the future. So, which type of alerts you handle daily uh, with all the steps to respond immediate and all the things explain one of them except the brute force and firewall cleaning. One of the common alert handled uh, daily is phishing email detection. Here are the steps to follow and respond to and remediate to the such alerts. Alerts. The SIM system generates an alert indicating the detection of suspicious phishing email. Response. Alert triage. I review the alert and assess its severity. Alert context. I gather additional information about the phishing email such as sender, recipient, subject and attachment. Isolation. If necessary, I isolate the affected user system to prevent the further harm. Investigation. I analyze the email content including headers, link and attachment to identify any malicious assessment. Threat assessment. I define the potential impact of the phishing attempt and whether the sensitive data may have been compromised. Incident classification. I classify the incident based on its severity and potential consequences. Communication. I notify the affected user and provide a guidance on the securing their accounts and the systems. Remediation. I initiate action to remove the or quarantine the phishing email and related artifacts from the network. User education. I conduct awareness training for the employees to help them recognize and report the phishing attempts in the future. Documentation would be I document all uh, actions that taken during the incident, including findings, response steps, and its solutions. So, next question If I send a sync request to the web server, the server replies with the ACK, but it does not send ACK SYN, ACK back. What is the name of the attack I perform? It's it's, it's called as a sin flood attack. So he is describing about the sin flood attack. In the sin flood attack, the, an attacker floods a target servers with high volume of sync, means synchronized request, with the completing the three-way handshake by sending, without completing a three-way handshake by sending uh, ex expected acknowledgement. Response: This type of attack aims to overwhelm the server resource, preventing legitimate connections and potentially the causing of denial of service DOS and or distributed denial of service DDoS situations.
what is the current version of uh, i don't know let's skip what are the ports on which logger and dsm listen the specific codes on which logger and dsm can vary depends on the configuration and uh, the version of the software being used typically the logger and dsm in the mcafe environment uses the following ports logger typically listens on 514 incoming syslog messages and dsm may range of the port various function including port 222 for the ssh secure shell access and 443 it's a HTTPS, HTTPS and 8443 it's a RDS remote data source communication is not these ports uh, numbers are based on the common configuration of your organization setup may differ always consult a specific documentation or a network configuration to accurate information yes that's true this is a very important question explain the meter attack framework the meter attack attack adversarial tactic techniques and common knowledge framework is a comprehensive knowledge and base and framework that for understanding the tactics and technique procedures used by the cyber advisor advisor means he is called as attacker or during the various stages of the cyber attack it was developed by mitre corporation to provide the structured and uh, standardized way to describe and categorize cyber threats and attacks the mitre attack framework consists of following components statics techniques and procedures and mitigation tactics the these present represent high value goals or objectives that the cyber advisor aim to achieve during an attack the several these are several tactics here including initial access execution persistence privilege escalation defense evolution credential access discovery lateral movement collection exfiltration and impact techniques the techniques are specific method or a procedure used by an attacker to accomplish their objectives with each tactics each technique is associated with the unique identifier and details perception of how it is executed procedures uh, are real world examples how the advisor or have used the specific techniques in the documented cyber attacks mitigation the section provides the guidance and re recommendation for organization to mitigate or defend against the specific techniques Security professionals or organizations use meter attack framework to improve their threat detection, prevention, and response capabilities. By mapping observed behavior of the attack techniques to the framework, they can better understand the tactics employed by the advisor and enhance their security posture. So, how to increase memory if high logs are being reserved? So, to increase the memory allocation, uh, for high handling volumes of logs in the sim security information and event management system we can follow the below steps so it would be assessment system requires assessment the first uh, whether the memory shortage is indeed out to the world net causing performance issue in the sim ensure the other system resource like cpu disk uh, input output or not also contributing to the problem system requirements check the documentation or vendor recommendation for uh, the, your sim solution to understand uh, the recommended hardware specification including a ram requirement uh, hardware upgrade if your current hardware does not meet the requirement or insufficient for the workload consider upgrading in the server physical memory consult with your it hardware team to procure and uh, in, install additional ram module virtual memory swap space if hardware upgrades uh, is not immediately possible you can uh, increase the virtual memory swap space in the server this can temporarily help in handling higher uh, memory damage demands and however it is uh, not a long-term solution but may affect the performance next would be optimizing configuration review the sim configuration settings make sure that optimized performance of some sim platforms allow you to adjust the memory allocation and buffer size tune these settings based on your organization log retention policies load balancing regularly monitoring and consult uh, with the vendor support if uh, encounter difficulties or need guidance for the optimizing memory allocation for your sim reach out with the sim vendors support for assistance and recommendation to increase your log spaces so next part we will continue on, on second part <laughs> thank you please subscribe for the channels as i'll be leaving daily uh, videos for this interview question and answers for cyber security it would be very helpful if you share as well thank you